It can't be that bad, oh, 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 it can't be that bad. We actually Stop don't like each other. Me. We're being forced here against her will at gunpoint. Turn it off. Turn it off. Cut that part <laughs> cut, out. Cut that. Cut that. <laughs> okay. You know my case court hasn't been settled yet. Cut that part out. Case yet. court. Case All right, court. perfect. Case court. Court case. <laughs> case, case court. court. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Christian. I'm okay. Everyone good? Everyone comfortable? Y'all good? I'm a little uncomfortable because my glasses <laughs> on the edge. Can you push it? Actually? I'm a little uncomfortable because I'm here right now. <laughs> you were you so down to do this. this. You wanted this. I, wait, stop. It's a front for the That's camera. It's all a front. Uh, I didn't say that. <laughs> you it's, said this that. is all we're being recorded. So, oh, Julia, shit. what's your? I mean. Julia, what's your, social what's your social security? What's your social what's security What's your ethnicity? Number? Tell us how white are you? <laughs> white. <laughs> Very white. Julia, what's your mother's maiden name and your social security number? <laughs> your and first pet. Your date of birth. Your I first pet. The teacher. Anything your favorite find teacher. It on the internet. Does Lauren not know Lauren? it already? What? Does Lauren not know this already? She knows. It. Yeah, her social security is 607-176967. Us finally getting it together. Cheers. Mm. Or to getting it together to a certain degree. Um, cheers. Well, Off camera cheers. <laughs> cheers. Well, well, Everyone. Well, <laughs> cheers, 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 cheers. I like the circle cheers that you're doing, whatever that is. Okay. So Hi, guys. I don't know what's going to go into the episode and what's not going to go into the episode. It's but all going in. All this of it. has been the most like <laughs> un aware <laughs> setup we've ever had. <laughs> Usually Christian has a really good wherewithal of the room we're in and can make it make make the best of a worse situation yeah uh but this has been a motherfucker to get this it's one it's the molly up. he took earlier that's a, i'm just well she was right nice now. though and she did a good job so it's just the Thanks. fact that traveling to places with i mean i can't fit a fucking studio light in my luggage on the way here excuses we, excuses no, i should have asked you to, no. did you have do you have like a ring light at home Actually, you must, right? You're a content creator. I don't have a big green light. Well, what do you do when you do your TikTok dances? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually jump in front of oncoming traffic when I do those. <laughs> it's a dream of mine. I do it in front of a highway. Um, so. The 405? No, the... <laughs> you're a 101 girl. I'm a 101 girl. If you're going to go out, you're going to go out on the 101. I mean, you know what? At yeah. least you're not a bridge and tunnel girl. You're definitely oh. some type of girl. That's a, you're, you're, <laughs> are, you a, are you assuming my gender? I should, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Way to flip it. You know what I mean? It's just like when you come into a room, there's a certain energy. And I told you, you run on like 20,000 miles faster than anyone than else. average human being. <laughs> Yes. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. No, it's a uh, yes. Thank you. And I'm sorry is per- actually a perfect way okay. to describe you. Thank you. And I'm sorry is actually <laughs> maybe like one of our silent favorite quotes that we've said. Thank oh, you. And I'm sorry. Now you're going to steal that as your own. We've said it before. Copyright. Actually. Copyright. If my lawyers are seeing this, no, you're not because they don't have one. <laughs> okay. Look, again, I don't know what's going on and what's going on now, but uh, we invited Lauren to come and be on our podcast. And then she brought Julia with her. <laughs> yeah. Who has been very mean to me. <laughs> And it's fine because I'm sure I deserve it. But also, Christian, I'm supposed to be the asshole in the room. I don't know. Julia's just oh. kind of me. <laughs> I'm, I'm a silent asshole. You say the, about it's, it's five words. Silent but deadly. Every now and then. But those five words have weight. They cut deep. They, oh, it was the N you word. Know what and else then it was, no, 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 no. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. You know what else cut deep? We were doing blood sacrifices for each other yesterday. Fuck yeah. Wait, wait. Can, no. we, can we talk about that? Because no. out of context, what the fuck does that wait, mean? Wait, have you joined? Are you uh, We are you actually Satanist? joined the church. Church of Scientology last night, and oh, nice. as part of it, we actually had to submit information for someone that else that would want to join, and we put both of your names down. So, I, wow, that's I, a you know what? no, we actually were doing a blood sacrifice. We were doing one of those <laughs> uh, food sensitivity tests that I'm pretty sure are fake. Oh, that you, you mean like an mail allergy in. test? Yeah, yeah. but they, those aren't you fake. Those dr- are like okay, very listen, real. Those are like consistently You have to draw logistic. blood. And so they give you a needle, and they're yes. just like, "Okay, draw blood out of your finger." Yeah, so have you, have you ever done to an do allergy it on test? Each other. No, I have. That's we very common. We literally drew blood from each other. That's, and that's not, not common. best friendship. <laughs> that's you trusted her drawing your blood. 
No, she We're didn't. We're just wusses. Yeah. Ah. And it, she was stressed out telling me about it. And I was like, oh, it's not even bad. Once, and it, it once, you, got, once you got the blood going, did you guys like shake hands no, and become like blood sisters? No, then we had to like drip it on a little finger. And then she was asleep. And then my blood. Okay, well, wait, 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 wait. She was asleep? <laughs> you did this to her when she was in slumber? That's best friendship? That's <laughs> a little consensual. scary. We haven't done even the <laughs> hello consensual. and welcome. And we're already talking okay. about Julia being asleep and you stealing Hi, her blood. This podcast is called It Can't Be That Bad. But oh, it, you're doing but the intro it, for us it now. It is that bad. What do we get so paid for? I don't <laughs> even know. Hey, we get, we've gotten paid before. <laughs> For a really and cool free merch. stuff. Oh, okay. That's true, and people give us free things. I but... still have your guys' merch from last time. Oh, you I brought yeah, it with you me to fooled LA. us and know what you're dressed in now. Uh, maybe this is your merch. Maybe I do like those pants. I want to say I do like those pants, though. Oh, those thank you. Should I show the camera the pants? It's not going to show up in the slide. <laughs> it might. <laughs> it's showing. It's showing. Christian's editing okay. is impeccable. I'm not okay. going to say that. I, I don't know. I honestly don't know how this is going to look. This is. It's going to look good because I'm going to edit it. I'm going to make sure because you edit it. Yeah, that's, that's the what, end of the okay. sentence, bro. That's my job. Yes, okay. exactly. So let's get into it. Hello. I know that we started off Hi. with some chaos, <laughs> but we'll do a proper Never introduction chaos. and we'll... What the listeners don't know is we've been talking for four hours and <laughs> this is the first usable take that we have. <laughs> what the listeners don't know is those four hours we were waiting for our drinks at the bar. <laughs> I don't exactly. want to be. I don't want to be a dick or anything, but I ha- um, I can't defend any of the people in that bar. We've been to that bar twice now. And you work in restaurant business, so I have a high tolerance. Vicariously through you, I've learned how to kind of be a guest in a restaurant or the food industry. Oh, you should have seen him before, just throwing food on the walls, Where's my screaming fucking at people. He, he shit on the floor. Not at- tipping, of course. No, you never oh, tip. No, he did tip. Okay. So, so that he did do. So he's not a piece of shit. Strictly thirteen percent, though. Weird okay. number. He's not a piece of shit. He's a whole pile. Oh, oh, oh wow oh, thank you sorry i have you as my okay, guest we can you're, stop this now right we can pi- stop the whole okay fine i'll reverse that you're not the whole pile of shit you're only a piece oh oh <laughs> you're thank you so much this are you the, the first, pile first time no, i've ever been around you and is. you're the pile of shit and it's not me <laughs> dude oh i've God. been respectful not that sarcastic <laughs> this evening but and- i've been very demure and very closed off so they don't know me yet oh uh, he was like, waiting for the cameras Chris is the to turn asshole. On <laughs> you, were right. waiting, you were waiting for the cameras to turn on the personality it was the third shot of right. uh jaeger we did <laughs> oh okay third you only did three pussy <laughs> I, I i take that as a term of endearment <laughs> okay you're welcome all right let's get into it baddies well, welcome to another episode of icbtb podcast, podcast also known as it, it can't, can't be, be that, that bad, bad as podcast. lauren said earlier it is that bad <laughs> You come in with a certain energy. You just kind of steamroll over everyone, and uh, it kind of works. It kind of it's on brand okay. for you. It, it's exactly what on we brand. expected. Okay. What I didn't expect was like a sidekick. Yes, a sidekick, a silent sidekick. I'm not sure if she's for me or against me, but sidekick. Same. Here. I don't think she's for anybody in the room. To be 100 percent honest she's for with you, whatever. We got like Jeff Ross over here just roasting everybody. You know, you are silent, but your face. Says it all. The silent assassin. <laughs> Her facial expressions are so transparent. She's, wait, how many people does it take to, before you become a serial killer? Uh, more than five. Oh, you're not there yet. <laughs> oh, wow. Four people and you're that's not why, a serial that's killer? That's why I haven't done four. Okay. Ah, that's what, what? it is. Three, you know? They had it You're warming up. You're kind of like edging it a bit. You know what? I haven't edging written it. my manifesto yet. <laughs> Julia, have you written your manifesto yet? <laughs> oh, wait, that sounds like it's written then. She can't it sounds speak. like. The lawyer says not to speak. Julia? I, Still we, not we, talking. <laughs> dead air is what we want. On I'm just going to edit crickets she whenever she talks. Her lip um, through the key. <laughs> so, Lauren, um, we've known you for quite a while. You were the first okay. guest when we've moved studios to my new home. Yep. Uh, that time, you were uh, respectable. Uh, you had manners. You made eye contact when you spoke to people. And you were practicing the art of Ninjago. Yeah. <laughs> And then this time, you're on something. Uh, you're on Bionicle? I am on life and alcohol. <laughs> oh, that's called being I'm a human. Vibe. I'm on vibes. <laughs> what do you do? Because I honestly don't know what you do. You're in social media, but like, and then you all of a yeah. sudden said, I'm moving to LA for something. And I said, and you get to go to the Kids' Choice Awards. And I asked, <laughs> how do you get to go to the Kids' Choice Awards? And you just said, I just be doing shit. <laughs> Because I just uh, be doing shit. You can't put that on this your. This doesn't sound like anything I would say. It's everything. <laughs> this you is say. verbatim. This is verbatim what you said. Um, 
I do be just doing shit. I moved to LA. I actually moved. I didn't plan the move. It was just literally two weeks. I was at my grandma's house um, having a mental breakdown. And then I was like, I can't be here anymore. I need to just move out. And I moved to LA. I only stayed somewhere for two months because I was like, I'm just going to move for two months and then see how it goes. And then maybe I'll move everything back home. And then literally the first weekend, I was like, I can't like I just moved out. I can't then move again. Like, And then after two months, two days before the two months was up, I found another spot. And now I'm moving to another spot. What? Yeah, but I actually signed a lease this time. So here's to having commitment. your shit together. Here's to commitment. <laughs> I will say, um, Christian, you have, And I've only lived, been like, here six months. Because <laughs> you haven't like lived in your own on like apartments and stuff like that. But I was in a place that was month to month. And then when it ended, I didn't have a place to go immediately. So it's like you had to kind of figure your stuff out. And then you go and find a place and then you're set to go. But it's good when you don't know like... Like, I didn't know how much anything cost. Like, I was living with my parents. Like, That's I didn't a, know. You didn't know the like, cost of a dollar, the, like, how much it was worth. I did. It's a hundred pennies. I did. Right? The cost of a dollar is 6,000 cents, wait, right? What the, <laughs> wait, what did the Uber driver tell us? It's 400. The Uber driver said, suck his dick or get out of the car. <laughs> and we immediately rolled out. Well, you immediately, I, I took care of the Uber driver. That's how you got here. And Christian talked he to him. He finished the ride and finished. And he was like, is your friend done yet? <laughs> but the way you described if anyone is moving to three different locations within six months, then you're squatting. You're or squatting. You're, or you're, you're using force. squatters' no, rights. No, I was not squatting at all. I was fully paying rent. It's LA. This shit is not cheap. Let's I mean, I. That. I mean, I've signed a lease agreement that was both in English and Chinese on the same page. So. <laughs> It's just because you paid rent doesn't mean you're in a legit place. um, My room that I'm about to move in in two weeks, I found on Craigslist. And one of my last roommates was an over 50 year old Chinese man that didn't really speak English, but he did offer me soup. I don't. Um, I that don't, sounds like any Asian I, you're honestly, over fifty. You know, every single time I would eat that soup, and every single time it was the best soup I ever had in my whole life. So it's good that you had a good. And then one experience. day I woke up and he just left. He was just gone. Yeah, because he had did to he go. leave any soup behind? No, he left a key behind. You don't know where he went. Uh, did he, was he going to go train to be a monk or something? Don't. He died suicide by cop, bro. He pulled the gun off a cop's he, belt. Uh, <laughs> just actually, that was the end of it. Um, he was sent to jail. Whoa. No, no, I'm kidding. Dude, I'm you should have rolled with that. I so, get, like super dark. My, my Chinese roommate, we had the first conversation when I was are living Are we trying to one-up each other right now? Yeah, it's happening. Okay. <laughs> and he turned to me and he's like, uh, oh, how old are you? And at the time I, I was, what, 23, 24? Don't look at me. I don't know how old you were, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is your life. I was like, oh, I'm 23. And he's like, oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> how old <laughs> I was like... Uh, he was like 90, 90 years old with a walker. I mean, I to- I've told you about him. Mm. I don't believe he was. He was at least 37. This is an Asian man. He was at yeah, my- least. 26 I, I, oh. there's this crazy I, I, <laughs> there's this crazy thing so you know how like uh in france they say that pe- the people stay skinny because they like drink a bunch of red wine and they eat a lot of cheese no. and it's they the eat cocaine red, that no. kind of type of stuff with asians no matter what they eat no matter what they do they'll age to about like 35 37 and they'll stay looking around no that I, age for a while i don't i don't and know and then all of a sudden they it hit turns. 80 you know and then they get ages? really short and they I, start i don't slouching. know if there's a number it changes per asian to honestly, asian honestly like i'm white so i can say this but like even if Uh-oh. i wasn't white people age the worst yeah white like people, literally the worst what that's age? why stanley cups but are giving white why, women fucking that's wrinkles. why botox exists mm. oh that is good let's say non-botox what is the prime age to be white and when does that prime age end it's whenever you marry a rich to husband or wife oh so marriage is the main cause <laughs> it's of cracking marriage is a main cause of crack addiction then why did we let the gays <laughs> do it then they shouldn't have let that is ruining them though. hey um they're okay what let's play a game he's gonna remove okay. his glasses i will blur it in the podcast <laughs> Julia has no idea. This is your first time meeting Julia. I'm gonna have Julia guess what ethnicity you are. I, mm. I like I, I. Ready? I reveal. Three. Oh, three, two, one. <laughs> oh, I didn't guess his ethnicity. I, I, after I heard the three, I Stop realized. Stop smiling. Your eyes get really small when you smile. Oh shit. 
Julia doesn't have to make a. You don't have to make a face too. <laughs> 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 She's just mirroring, <laughs> mirroring. What, what what shape are those eyes? Wait, did we introduce Julia? We I, okay. haven't introduced anybody. We haven't this introduced is anyone. a non sequitur. Oh, Christian's gonna have such right. a hard time editing this. I feel no, bad. All right, baddies, we have Lauren McCoy, <laughs> ambiguous social media content creator that just does shit. We have her more even uh, more, more ambiguous, a more ambiguous sidekick, Julia. I don't. It's up to you if you want to say your last name on this thing. I would guess Julia not. Dennis. Oh. Tennis? Oh, my last name is, is Dennis. 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 Like Two the, first like names. Like the dentist, you know, but Dennis. No, like Dennis the menace. Like the dentist, but tennis. Yeah, we got it. The first time you said that exact sentence. <laughs> Julia Dennis like Smith, but not that at all. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a D-E-N, just like S-I-M, T-H-N-E-I-S. <laughs> okay, Julia oh Dennis, God. welcome to the podcast. <laughs> Okay, now that we got the introductions out the way, okay. let's what, play that game. What did you think Alejandro was? We're playing the game. What's his race? <laughs> this is not controversial at all. Whatever you say is going <laughs> to be slightly racist. So just <laughs> you're going to be wrong no matter what. So don't feel bad. I understand. You said you're full white, right? No matter what. Yes, I'm full. You're white. full white. Yeah. Anything you say is going to be slightly racist. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, can I, can I, I this guess? Is a tough game. Can you I guess? You guys can both guess. No, yeah. Okay. You guys want to confer? You guys want to confer? Sidebar first. together and like Wait. figure it out. Okay. Come but whisper into the mic so that we could use it as so content. We can still use it. <laughs> Good. Produce her brain. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> African American. <laughs> oh, hey, we got a comedian well, on our hands. Julia, I'm not. Relax. That's okay. cool. <laughs> Don't look at me for validation. This is you guys. <sighs> Wait, we're guessing mental illness, right? Am I supposed right? to have like a flag behind me, Christian? What is like, should I show like my... Are we guessing? He's not hand? one ethnicity. He is okay. not one. Okay, you are... Uh, yes, definitely yes. mixed. Asian... Asian American and German. <laughs> well, stop showing limbs. That's not gonna help them. Show nipples. That will help. Oh, nipples! Oh God! Oh my God! This is a PG thirteen podcast. Are nipples or do you shave them? No, I just I don't grow a lot. No, of he hair. waxes. Stop them. showing it. I have to keep <laughs> blurring yeah, this. Look. Christian actually sucks the nipple hair off him. Okay, time out. <laughs> what <laughs> is going on here? That's not what, what did we'll do. what did I do to deserve <laughs> Wait, that? Sorry, 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 sorry. That was autocorrect. I meant um, your Asian American is my best guess. Two, Asian American is so vague. Asian I, I know. I don't want to be controversial. So you can pick a whole continent. Pick a whole different continent. Korean, then. Chinese, Korean. Taiwanese, Thai, uh, Canadian. <laughs> oh my Canadian. god. Canadian. <laughs> I don't want to judge. All right, now. Look, hey, look. Nobody's looking to cancel anybody here. Yeah. <laughs> just say, just say what you are. Uh, oh, does the word, does the name Alejandro give anything yeah, away? Like Hispanic. He's Hispanic. Look at his tattoo on his left forearm. I don't judge. He can. Oh. I'm, um... <laughs> and none of you guys said Hispanic. You guys... I didn't want to, like... Are you... Name. I didn't want to be stereotypical. It's, look, it's not their fault. Look, look can I defend them for a second? Stereotypical because of his name, but Can I defend them for a second? Okay, let's defend them. <laughs> oh, no. My first name's Alejandro. My last name's Middleton. I have an Asian face. It's very difficult right, for Asian people to American. figure out what That's I have. That's why I wanted to... I... I it's just so fucking much more. You are a confusing okay. individual. It's like when Go God created you, he created you with the blind. When God, God created didn't create this. You, God, <laughs> this happened. This is an abomination. The devil that created this. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Hail Satan all day. <laughs> um, uh, no, my father is Dutch Indonesian. Uh, okay. His mother was Thai so and Asian. Danish. So. And my mother was Mexican. Uh, and we can trace my mother's roots all the way back to the Aztecs. So. So you're Aztec. Yeah, uh, Native American, I think <laughs> Wait, is what they I'm call Native it, American. and uh, Dutch Indonesian. It would be at the basis if you could boil if you boiled me down to my essence. Then you'd be soup. I'd be like I'd be a vaguely Mexican Dutch soup. <laughs> he is Dutch soup. soup. He, I am soup. You are soup. You're a whole you lot of stuff. You are soup. That's the best compliment like, anyone I'm, could ever. I'm soup. You are soup. <laughs> I'm a pretty plain meal. Like, from a distance, you, you could soup. tell I am okay. Indian. What am I? 
<laughs> no, I'm not Indian. These are going back down. Caucasian. <laughs> you are so right. Absolutely. There is a part of the Caucasus Mountains that go into Cock- Asia. Wait, cock Asian. Cock Asian. Break Caucus. that down for me. I think the pre- I'm going to let you dig the- your own. I'll let, I'll let you break it down. I'm not oh, going to yeah, dig yeah, my yeah. own grave. You You're are part of grave. the cock Asians. May I? <laughs> of people who are Asians with huge cocks. Thank you so much. So you've seen each that. other's cocks because it is Pride Month. So, Happy Pride. Thank that's you. That's actually something we talked about today. Yeah. Dick still, sizes? I, no. no. See? Because <laughs> we were like, we didn't talk. We were quite silent. We're sharing a room. <laughs> we didn't this talk. Is, we only is, moaned. <laughs> well, it's, it screams. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> we're in a hotel room. Me and Christian are sharing this room. There's only room, one bathroom and one bed. toilet. Sharing the One bed, shower. sharing our kisses, sharing our loves. Uh, but I asked Christian, I was like, you know what? I, I think you've seen every part of Wait, my Wait, context, penis, context, Whoa. context. But not all at once. So <laughs> similarly to you guys, uh, Alejandro and I have been friends since middle school. Okay. Yeah, and we yeah, became we best friends in high school. And Alejandro definitely went through that phase of just like, hey, look in this direction. He would just flash people. Um, or he, oh. he definitely was the type of guy that the would two, take... So you're telling the, him his sexuality is just a phase. The 2000 Canceled. aughts were a very weird <laughs> time. Canceled. Canceled. Let me talk and do not laugh <laughs> like fucking Nelson from The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> do not. If you're going to say anything on this fucking podcast, do not just laugh like a fifth grade bully. She's here to support my jokes. She's here to support no one. She, look, she look, would do the same thing to you. She's here to be against all of us. Hashtag sidekick Julia. Okay. Anyway, so with that, you know, it's all accidental sightings of p- parts of his penis. So accidental. On Whoa! His part. How did we get here? We were you. talking. Okay. You, you caught up. This up. up. <laughs> okay. So he would do things like pranks, as in, like, "Hey, look over here." Then his penis is there, and I you know would me. see it for a millisecond. He'd prank you by sucking your dick. Oh no! <laughs> I was like, this is the worst and prank ever. Like, oh, no. I fucking got him. Well, and he's also the type of individual that will take a picture of just the trunk of his penis and then use it set it to my screensaver no 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 no. everybody stop everybody stop everybody stop everybody take a fucking breath (sighs) the base shot of my penis was saved in like an archive of your photos no 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 so when you found it it was was months later that was for his stepsis (laughs) stop Wait, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Wrong website, wrong website. Oh, you're, okay. I, I think okay. I know what you're talking about. Mormon what am I talking? I'm talking about christianmingle.com. That sounds like somewhere where you'd actually find the right guy. I actually That's made a farmers John- only recently just for fun. And my username, only. my username farmers was only, horse AKA whore no 64. Blacks. Horse, horse. Horse whore 64. Horse whore I had 64. it for one day. I think you, I think that would be problematic. <laughs> Horse whore? What? <laughs> 64. What were the results with that happening? Um, a bunch of horses were just like swiping left every <laughs> single time with their hooves. Actually, just... so you know it is called farmers only, but there was one guy that I don't think he was a farmer. Oh. Oh, he was. So, you can't get mad at that. Are we, you a farmer? We, uh, we, we weren't talking about me. Shut. <laughs> okay. Okay. If actually, I, if they... are you assuming I'm not a farmer? I'm That's assuming farmer? you're a gaslighter. I'm assuming what you're it not. Is. No, I think you're on. just gaslighting no, everyone in this room. I'm assuming you're not a farmer because you're like just not a I farmer. I actually have two pairs of cowgirl boots. That doesn't make so you a farmer. So I'm like technically. I have. I technically I have live three on pairs a of ranch. Jordans. That doesn't make me a basketball player. Yeah, it does. Yeah. No, no. actually, you should see my basketball skills. It does not make me a basketball player. I have a van, so that makes me a professional skater. A professional skater. You look like you've you struggle on skateboard. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I just Can you even skate? Age. You look like you could pose for with skate gear on, but once that shoot is over, that you would just stay Get far, far away hands. from a skateboard. Thank you. You look, <laughs> you look like you are um, that you struggle with gravity. You look clumsy. I've never heard Am you right? not give a good compliment. That's the <laughs> worst compliment you've ever given. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. Let's go home. You, uh, I don't am I blame right you. though? Are you gravity? Oh, cha- your silence Lauren, says it all. Are you gravity She's challenged? Are you gravity challenged? Not coordinated. How many no. drinks in am I? Zero. Uh, just like like seven thirty on a Sunday afternoon. So I'm fucked up. <laughs> I'm <just kidding. laughs> on a Sunday. <laughs> on the Lord's day. On the Devil's day. Mm, that's um, Friday. I think it depends. I think I am like mostly. I would like to see it. 
All right. See her skate? Well, see well lucky work. for you, we have a high wire app. You're like, lucky for you, our next sponsor is a skateboard. <laughs> lucky for you, a segment that we do every single time on this podcast <laughs> is Meet Bam Marger. <laughs> Um, That's sad, actually. I hope he gets his shit figured out. I don't know. I was never really good on a skateboard. You know what else is sad? Just life. The Holocaust. I'm going to keep no, playing. Yeah, that is sad. Let her sit in it. You can sit on it. Why? Um. No, I'll tell you why it's sad. Wait, wait, do it's you realize all of this is recorded? <laughs> and do when I realize, edit this... Do you realize I don't care? <laughs> do you realize this is carefully scripted? She's, she's whispering the script into my ear right now. Everything's recorded so everything video-wise. She said zero things, <laughs> although her face says it all. And she is looking at me for she's, support she's like, that I cannot she's give. Like, like, Christian, she's I looking at it. you for help. This is your friend. <laughs> she's like, help. <laughs> <laughs> Blink twice if you need help. This is how I feel. How Julia feels about you right now is how I feel about Alejandro when he talks sometimes. Hold, the, hold two fingers can't up run away if from you me. need help. What, what did you say? Looking? I said hold two fingers up if you need help. Like professional help? She needs help. <laughs> Let's talk about your journey here in LA. You said that there's a bunch of stories that you could not tell me through text. That you could not tell us uh, through drinks downstairs. You said... <laughs> That you've just gone through it and give us no, the past said, six months. I've gone through it and I'll save it for the episode and then pushed her drink away from her. <laughs> and did what I is- said, <sighs> I said, let me call my lawyer. <laughs> what can and I my say? My lawyer didn't answer. So I said, okay, anything goes. So here we are. Okay. So I moved to LA, had a two month sublease. And then I realized I want to stay in LA, moving out of your parents' house, monumental, whatever. It is. And then I moved into my place I'm at now. But now I'm moving into a house because cheaper rent for a mansion. Because a that makes choice. so much sense, right? I you're, mean, who wouldn't moving, take that chance? I'm moving from an apartment into a house okay. for cheaper rent. With how many people? S- There's a billion people? Five other people, but it's a Is this a TikTok seven- house? This is an influence. No, is this no! a TikTok house? It is oh, not. Fuck. We just figured it out. Who is no. in there? Who's in there? Charlie Fucking Justin DeVilio. Bieber? <laughs> no. <laughs> I know. I know. No, she was only on the Kids' Choice Awards. That you were also at. So nice way to yeah, sneak that in. Yeah. Now, since you brought it up, we went. To, <laughs> Did I? We actually went to the Kids' Choice Awards. It was, uh, it kind of felt like a shroom trip, but sober. <laughs> Can you discuss a little bit more about the consistency what? of the slime? Um, have you ever felt the consistency of no. cum? Yeah. Cum no. soda? Every like third day. Cum soda? Cum- <laughs> Sounds like something soda. that needs to sponsor you. <laughs> cum soda. Cum soda. Okay. And now for Christian's new brand, he's going to be making cum soda. Christian, can you give us fuck, Christian, dude? Christian, I'm give, just chilling here. Give us a 15 second ad for cum soda. Cum soda. Go, go, go. Cum soda. Hi, my name is Christian Baltazar. I do not endorse this product personally because I don't want to come into Kansas soda. You don't want to come. However, you know, just to keep people happy, there's some people that find nutritional benefit to come and also like soda the best part about this is that it is also this, good I'm, for I'm your sorry, skin i'm sorry this is like a 1920s <laughs> commercial before they figured out like and, how to sell and marketing they have to talk they about the guys i thought i was doing a good job listerine <laughs> fixes your breath uh, and side makes effects you... may include but <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you sell cum soda <laughs> right now go cum soda have you ever tried to come and then it fell in <laughs> soda well <laughs> i haven't either and it felt like soda Felt like fell into. Oh, it, fell into it soda. Fell oh, into I soda. heard felt like soda. Well, yeah, which I'm interested in. Is carbonated it a pill? gum. <laughs> He's like, I want to try. Come Car- like soda. Carbonated cum. Are we the future of science? Carbonated cum <laughs> might be the worst thing Wait, I've ever heard. Carbonated cum will be the title of this episode, and it will ruin you. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> carbonated cum featuring Lauren McCoy. My and mother, Julia my mother won't listen to this one. I'm not gonna uh, name this it. This is then. perfect to air at church on Sunday morning. Anyway, first of all, Your who's listening tone. to podcasts at church on a Sunday morning? <laughs> all right, everybody, Jesus now that Christ you've himself. had your wine and your cheese, it's sit Can down. Can we all just say a little prayer? All right. Hail Satan. May the Lord press us um, and bring us over closer to the light of Lucifer. <laughs> what are you going to say, Lauren? Amen. That's it? Okay. Hail Satan. He just said it. Let's continue on with your journey. So you've okay. been here for six months. <laughs> Selling cum soda. And then you got no, cummed on in at Kids' Choice Awards. Uh, 
No. She got slimed on, Christian. Slimed on. You misheard her. Of the she above. got slimed on. I am a Christian woman. I'm so sorry. I pray every day. No, you don't. I do actually. No one believes that. You are. She, are you, I pray. No. Okay. I, I you get it. You for sure. Every single day, that's I get fucking... on my knees. Oh, that's and... not praying though. <laughs> pray to God. Oh, okay. I didn't hear the second part. What did part. you think I was gonna say? I d- didn't. I guess I assumed. Every day you get on your knees, and but that's to make Christian not quit the podcast. The fuck am I doing? <laughs> Why? What are all these? Because I beg you to not leave me alone. That's what it is. Oh. There you go. Oh. And that is how come soda Ooh. was invented. Just all save right. myself <laughs> another six months on this podcast. All right, let's get back to the Kids' Choice Award. You got cummed on, and then what happened after that? <laughs> and then I became a sex offender. <laughs> <laughs> At the Kids' Choice Award. Not in Hollywood. That makes you a producer. Uh, oh, you're actually correct. I, I mean, I'm not wrong. The pedophile uh, ring in Hollywood is rampant. Okay, so should we talk about how I found my newest house on Craigslist? How I found a sugar daddy on ZipRecruiter? Let's yeah. talk about that, that part. I... <laughs> Slow the fuck down. Wait, hang on, because it's getting better and better. Maybe the third we'll one's even better. There. Or how I am not loved by my grandma anymore. Let's go uh, with the you're one. You're right, the before. second one. Okay. Yeah, the second, the second one. one. Questions okay. about that. The grandma one makes me kind of sad. Because okay. there are apps about, there are apps regarding uh, sugar, sugar daddy. daddy, sugar baby type okay. stuff. What did your profile We've entail? Tried. What was your bio? How did you how did you go about that? I literally submitted for a personal assistant job. I Look also need feet. you to understand this was very public. There was no like nothing weird, no shame to anyone that does that. But me personally, so this was the kosher sugar sugar daddy. It was. I had to walk on the beach and sometimes get him groceries, and he'd buy me whatever food I wanted for dinner, and then he'd pay me, and I'd be like, oh, I gotta go. I found him on ZipRecruiter. That's, I mean, that's... ZipRecruiter. Really? OnlyFans? No, ZipRecruiter. Really? But also, it was for like two months. He didn't pay that well because he wanted me to fuck. For, oh, I see. For, but then he was like, I'll pay all your bills. Like, I'll give you like $10,000 a month for sex. And I was like, oh my God, like what I could would you do ethically for six or five? not do that. So anyway, this last month I made $11,000 and... <laughs> Wow. How? Wait, no, how? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> I, um, just donate. So I met this guy on ZipRecruiter. <laughs> I mean, no. it's, it's good. No, I actually didn't. But like, it was something very like, it was a personal assistant job. But that he was like, like a, let's just walk on the beach. It's a real personal and assistant. It was a real personal assistant. One yeah. time I had to do his laundry. Just what once. was just he wasn't on. even yeah. home at the time. What was in the laundry? Anything weird? Um, what do you consist of weird? Like just anything that wouldn't be was the he, normal how, like, wait, like, Describe the man. Butt like, plugs aren't considered weird, right? If it's in the laundry, that would be weird. Yeah, okay. You could just rinse that. that I mean, even that. if it's normal, that's the laundry's not Throw the in place the dishwasher, for that. if anything. Yeah. I think <laughs> you it, put your butt plugs in the dishwasher? No, Christian puts plugs. his in the hot water. In your dishwasher. <laughs> in my mouth. Oh, no. Why am I getting thrown into this? Let me just. I thought pride we were gonna have a month. decent conversation. My mouth. It is Pride Month. This that is, is why no, we're that's great. About this. But hey, I, that doesn't hey, change anything. You know what that, she saves you? What? Two words. What? No homo. I don't think. What are you? Yes, in the homo. eighth grade. Yes, yes homo. homo. We are all it for pride month. the LGBTQ plus community. Yes, yes. It I, is Pride yeah, Month. Yes, so yes, yes homo. Well, you say no homo. Sometimes is I homophobic. say things and I don't intend it to be homo. Sometimes I tell Christian I love him. I don't want him to interpret it as and homo. I say I love him too, and then he turns. I it love into you. Yes, else. homo. Uh, let's change all the camera <laughs> angles. Okay, <laughs> you're like all of you. This we is have turning a different into show a here. different website. <laughs> Next, next question. Next, well, just your lot. You said, can you please stop pointing a gun at me? I'm gonna answer the questions. I'm, There's a camera <laughs> on me too. They know that I Look, don't have anything. Everybody take just because I'm a brown cis <laughs> oh male. Oh, it's, no, the, it's, the, it's, the, part. it's the cis part. Uh, yeah, yeah. It is I'm pride go get month. If you guys didn't know, you're Christian, like, I can't do, do this. Drink? Can you grab me a truly, please? Can you grab me a tall glass of water, tequila? <laughs> a tall a tall glass of tall glass. water tequila i'll be back you guys keep this fun 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 okay. fun time going i want to talk to julia move the, I, I have move a, the microphone i have a comment on her sugar daddy situation though. would love to hear this like 
she really thought this was like a real job. Like this man was because it was zip recruiter. It was. It was. was. So she started, and uh, she told me about it, and she was like, "Oh, I'm gonna be working from him, like out of his house," which I'm like automatically like, "Mm, that's "Mm, that's a little weird, a little weird. But then she starts, and it was it was normal at first. It was like doing paperwork or like filing paperwork type stuff, and then it slowly started going. To the other direction. What was the direction like? What was Just happening? Just so you know, it was like he fully owns a medical business. Okay. He lives in like a place on the beach in Talking west, to the west side. Yeah. He lives on the beach west side somewhere. <laughs> okay. Actually, I'll give it my address. I did not. Don't give no. your address. No, That's more work his, for me to fucking okay. bleep out. I'll give his address because I did not sign it. Don't that give anyone's is, address. He lived in Santa Monica on the beachfront. Okay. It was completely legitimate. Nice. I started, like, doing paperwork, filing tax, like, you know. Into the microphone, please. Personal assistant (laughs) stuff. Okay. Welcome to my ASMR. I just asked you to talk into the microphone. (laughs) So I was working for him, and I was doing paperwork. And then he was like, do you want to get dinner? I was like, yeah, well, let's Are you get being dinner. more sensual? No, it wasn't. <laughs> just because you're closer to the mic, you don't have it, to turn into okay, ASMR. So. No, okay, it literally so, just started to be more and more yeah, like He like home. wanted to walk on the beach. Yeah. And then he was like, okay, do you want to like do my laundry? And then he was like, listen, like if there's an arrangement that works good for both of us. And I was like, I'm not going to fuck you for money. Well, and also, you knew exactly. I, like, I will pay all your bills. I was like, I'm good off that. But I will recruit people for you well, if they want. Mm. But, like, mm. it started getting weird. But he was respectful. I will say he did not cross boundaries at you all. You can turn the mic if... That's why she was in denial, though, that this Boundaries was that were set and uh-huh. none were crossed whatsoever. Gotcha. Well, because you knew but, your boundaries, yeah. Yes, but also... Thank you. Because I'm trying to... But also, uh, please finish your thought, yeah. <sighs> but also... He was super fine. No, he owned like a literal like medical business. And I was like, he had so much money too that one time I came there and he just had like, I have a picture on my phone. I'll find it. He had hundreds and hundreds of dollars just laying out on the table. And he was like, oh, I'm sorry about that. I forgot to pick that up. Oh, that's up. a great I was flex. Like, I was like, I know <laughs> what you're nuts. doing. Like, do you think I'm stupid right now? Mm-hmm. And then I pocketed a few hundred dollars and I quit. Well, no, we'll I didn't. I didn't do that. that. I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you shouldn't bleep out that part. You should bleep out the part where I um say his bank account number. Actually, I don't know that, but I do know his social security number is five four seven. No, 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 no. As an editor, at least forty seven times as today. As an editor, do not edit any of this out. Are you trying to affect my freedom of speech? Right now? <laughs> Fuck, dude! What am I? <laughs> what's going on? I mean, you know, I'm a constitutionalist. So, all right, oh let's keep God. talking about what, what else happened in LA. Talk about um, your life. Talk. I about- got roofie the day before my birthday. You and you posted <sighs> about that, and I was no, actually that I was, was very, a different very time. That was oh. a different time again. It was really bad. When's this your time? birthday, by the way? March 26th. Oh. 420. No, March, March 26th. <laughs> but um, I did get roofied. So for anyone watching this, if you're I, if you're anyone, my best advice to you is to just not get roofied. But if you do... um, Do you know like the time and place that like when it happened and yeah, how, I, what you could have I done like, to prevent it? Relatively. So I had a buzz ball. I had like two other drinks that night, and like yeah, I'm like two. No, I had buzz balls before, but I had a buzz ball. <laughs> oh, then all tell. of a sudden, after like <laughs> after two drinks and a buzz ball over the course of three hours, I'm like Doesn't blacked out, like yeah. throwing up. I was in my neighbor's bathroom, like throwing up, like repeatedly, losing consciousness repeatedly. I had like they had to call nine one one. I. I, this is kind of hard to explain because I don't really remember, but the ambulance came that I couldn't walk to the car, Damn. to the ambulance. They couldn't get the stretcher in because it was an apartment building. So they had to carry me out to the ambulance, supposedly. 
I remember waking up for a second in the ambulance and I was like crying because I didn't like throwing up. So I was crying because I was like, what's happening there? Like, you're safe. You're fine. I was like, I want my mommy. And that's what I said. And then I said, well, fuck, this is going to be 500 million billion dollars. And they're like, no, you're fine. You have insurance. But I just said, this is going to be 500 million billion dollars. Don't know what happened from there. Woke up back in the hospital. With a bill for five million billion dollars. Uh, five hundred million billion dollars. Uh, it was my first ambulance ride, so check that one off the bucket list. That's a bucket but list. But my man. neighbor had the audacity to message me and be like, "That was so traumatizing." Like I was like, "Dude, I almost died, and you're traumatized." And he was like, "I know you almost died in my bathroom." And then the cops were surrounding me. They had to take your blood, and they left your blood on my dining room table. I was like, "Do you still have it? Because I want it." They didn't still have it, but um, yeah. And then the next day, it was my birthday, and then the yeah, how did you spend you went to that? Disneyland and I, I saw went Cinderella. Out Bring again? the mic back to no. remember what I said to like a bo- like a popsicle. Uh, I went out again <laughs> because I didn't want to explain to all my friends and like worry everyone that was coming over that I got roofied the night before. So I like faked it. I told like one of the girls that came that night, and then the next day, like. To like obligation I, drunk. Ca- well, you're like I'm obligated to hang of, out with these people. And like I was in the hospital till eight a.m. and then at six p.m. I woke up that day because like when you're roofied, your body like needs like you're just everything asleep. I, I I had to have like three, I think three bags of IV fluids that night to like flush it out of my system. Geez, it and takes a the long cops time. had the audacity to come and be like, Ask "You number. weren't roofied. <laughs> you just have a drinking problem." <laughs> and I told what? them, I was like, "Even if I have a drinking problem, this is not the problem at hand right now." Yeah. Like I had three drinks and I blacked out throwing in the course up. of an hour or two. Three hours. Yeah, and I, I'm like. And all the female, um, they were like, all the female nurses, they were great. They're like, we've seen this before. We don't have the specific test they for roof and all. Because when you're roofied on the street, the the non-pure form of roofies is GHB. And there's no testing for GHB. Hmm. Roof and all itself, there's testing for. But you could only get roof and all in the pure for- form like from the hospitals so they said this is consistent to girls we see that are drugged we believe that you were drugged but the male cops came in and tried to like lecture me on drinking i'm like this is the least i've drank in months you mean the lapd didn't have their shit right Uh, the police were wrong what a shocker and then i think i called everyone in my phone i think i called you i was like at hospital or something like what what did I do that night? Like, I don't remember. I don't. I'm like, I don't remember. I don't remember talking to you that night. I we talked. I think the next. What the next I even day? Take? I still don't really have a memory of that next day. You were you were blaming your neighbor. <laughs> for, like for legal reasons let's um, not blame anyone but there is two she was, people she was i know it was one about the two. some certain people but as I you mean, should be i can't i can't imagine that yeah. and i will say i have not hung out with those people since that and i have not got roofied since that so good and was it like a sketch part of la that you were around no like, was it just not a, at all okay. it was west side so it's in venice um i will say i also am very careful with my drinks i like hold it over the top like i'll like and hold it like just this. attend it at all Christian, times and like i've been drugged in benicia were you what yeah. was your experience? We live in a small town. Are you? Wait, you sound like you got shit talking about Benicia right now. You know, there's only three bars in the whole fucking town. Also, I, like, you know, like, you know, like, I will town. say I can drink. Like I have a pretty high tolerance for drinking, and I tell everyone if I'm throwing up, like I will not. I we both have like a thing where Mitchia we phobia. hate like yeah. throwing up. Vomit free since I will never drink that much Damn that life. I throw right. up. So if I'm throwing up, I'm like, I know I was given some shit because I will never like if I'm even slightly nauseous, I will stop drinking, yeah. eat bread, water, like eat water. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Water. Uh, you're really ice. fucking like you're eating water. water right now. <laughs> but, Get uh, this woman some edible water. I know. <laughs> Get this woman some edibles. <laughs> well, we, I mean, it is unfortunately a really common thing. Yeah. And I have this theory that the people who do this to people have their it's a numbers game they right. it, their intention isn't necessarily to get you exactly 
It's I have ten drops or ten pills in my pocket. I drop all Let's ten. Uh, some girl's gonna get in an argument with a friend. She's left behind, or a guy is gonna get so fucked up he falls down. I can take his wallet, or it's it's so many. I, I mean, also got robbed recently, so yeah, maybe yeah. maybe maybe back off a little bit. What did bit. you say to me when I was messaging you? You said yeah, the three R's. She, no, no, you said, said the two R's. R's. Did you rob me? What she said, Christian? Did you rob Roof- me? No. no, I said roofied, robbed, and I don't want to hit the third one. That's what you said. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. robbed, I will say, I was robbed in the best way possible. If you're going to be, they just took it out of my purse. That's not bad. I just touched your boob. I'm, I'm, <laughs> not, I'm not sorry. <laughs> they part, don't like that you mind. made eye contact. I didn't even want that. Out. Julia keeps Julia, making. Julia, tell just, us how you feel. You're sitting directly how across from you me. Feel? <laughs> but so, your eye, um, like with yeah, no blinking. I said roofied, at all. robbed. When I got robbed, it. It was both my phone and my wallet out of Ugh. my purse. And the phone's such a shitty thing to rob somebody no, else. If you okay, it's so the dumbest thing to take from someone. So to get a new card, you have to confirm it by phone. To get a new phone, you have to have a card. So I was in this little predicament. What? It's almost like, like the people who run all the money don't like us. I know. I recently had my bank but, account shut down. So yeah, I'm really mad at like establishments that have money. Why? Because of the fraud? No, because I'm Mexican. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah. They don't support the Hispanic community. Say the bank's name. Say the bank's name. It's Bank of America. (laughs) Oh, of course. I I, I mean, they have much more than hidden fees. Bank of America. This is uh, Bank of America. (laughs) Bank of America. Bank of of a cantina. (laughs) Bank of the Quran. Bank of the KKK. Bank of the Quran. I would love to have my money in the Bank of Quran. I think it would come back at least uh, slightly burnt. So uh, should we go around and tell everyone our bank account information? I think actually, I don't want to. I mean, I hate to like shoot you down for the f- first time in this podcast, but I'm going to give you a hard no that okay. I'd rather keep that. Hey, stuff Christian, discreet. it probably should have happened was a sooner. Test. That was a test. <laughs> You're like, we should probably wrap this up now. <laughs> no, I think actually, what's weird is you know, um, we're doing a weird thing where we're going to like take a break at one point and go to a bar. This is for sure oh, happening. Yeah. No, this is yes. for sure happening. It is. Wait, 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 guys! If this is wait, everyone, shut the fuck up! If this is gonna no happen, no one was with, talking. <laughs> if this is gonna happen when we're two drinks in, we what's gonna to happen do? when Who? we're twenty drinks? Oh, however the fuck many drinks in? Wait, twenty drinks? 20? Okay, I'm high tolerance. So wow, what kind of uh, fucking? It was an we're arbitrary say, number that I threw Okay, out. we're gonna say at one point we're gonna say okay, cut. Uh, or, or maybe not. Or we're gonna say um, the, the code word. Thank you. You know the code word. Um, I oh, wait. Okay, penis. so I also work at a coffee shop. I do not drink coffee. I'm allergic to coffee, but I work at a what coffee shop. Stop. Everybody, I tell my wait, everybody, wait, shut wait. Wait. everybody, shut the fuck up. Wait, everybody, let me do it, Christian. It's everybody, shut fun. the fuck up. I don't. I was a personality You're hire. Allergic to coffee? Uh, it's an intolerance, actually. Oh, so you just hate it because it's no, brown? No, I. <laughs> I actually love coffee. <laughs> Thank you, Julia. The same thing as like a gluten intolerance. I have it for coffee. It's not believable, I know, but it's true. I could pull up my medical record. Oh, we not we didn't. No, I believe you. Yeah, okay. no, we'll take okay. your word. Anyway, I'm so a, what a liar. I were What well, I didn't know you were in headphones. Canceled. <laughs> You're canceled. You've By canceled now? us five times. So each I work at, at a coffee shop. And I also don't know where I was going at this point because you interrupted me. I'm so sorry. So you make espresso we're based. A boba shop. Okay, it's boba and coffee, but I'm not trying to reveal too much so I don't have stalkers. My address of my job is... 1212 <laughs> Fremont Street. Here we go again with addresses. <laughs> I know. You have an obsession no, okay. with social security numbers, bank account numbers, and addresses. How do you think I got rich? Uh, okay, keep going. Zip recruiter. Did, is no one oh, listening? Zip recruiter. So, yeah, like you, <laughs> is not a single person in this room listening? <laughs> it's an ad for zip recruiter. That's what it is. <laughs> Zip recruiter, guys, use oh. our uh, promo code ICBTB and it'll do nothing. Oh, yeah. Use our promo code, but it will actually cost you money because I'll add $10 to the total if you use. We the owe code. them money. So as yeah. soon as you put give that me... in, they know you're associated with us. Okay. In all seriousness, give me your best ad for Zip Recruiter for sugar babies to find sugar daddies. Look into the camera and do I, it. I want to play this game too. We could all do it. Let's okay, go in a circle. Right. And, then we're gonna, and Julio is going to vote who does it the best. So there could be some coherence think? with with what's happening. <laughs> I forgot that that Whoever's had even. Ready a... goes first. Lauren, wait. Starts. Okay, let me think. Because she went through it. <laughs> wait, do you guys know what Air One is? Yeah, the the Air store. Okay, Air yeah, I'm familiar. no Air One, the grocery the, store. The really expensive. Did grocery you guys store. spend all your money at twenty at? 
20? <laughs> 20. Yes, I did. <laughs> did you guys spend all your money? <laughs> at 20? If I had some at 20. People who are yes. Did you guys spend all your money at 20? Then go on ZipRecruiter and find a... God, God, let's try it again. Let's go. Lauren, Lauren stuttered. Let's roll that again. <laughs> this time, don't stutter. Okay, he's making fun of my stutter. <laughs> so, um, he's making fun of me. It's the same old. So, no Canceled. one listens. to this I'll say it for you. Cancelled. Go ahead. He's like gagging over there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't he's, even think it was that like good. He's like gagging I just on Christian's dick over here. There, we have a camera well, showing that I'm not get, uh, okay. that I'm not gagging. Well, no, I'm doing it, guys. It's Christian's dick. <laughs> okay, continue. <laughs> it's three against one, Christian. I'm sorry. If this was your audition, I do like for that a zip the three of us are on this side of the wall, and it's you over if there. If this was my audition for a zip recruiter, I would say um, find a different website for sugar daddies, <laughs> like farmersonly.com, because um, or sugardaddy.com. Actually. Seeking no. arrangements. Seeking arrangements. Oh, that is an if you there are seeking an arrangement, the yeah. then go on seekingarrangements.com because you could find an arrangement and you could also find an arranged marriage. This is a great commercial for ZipRecruiter. I would like to do my <laughs> opportunity. Can I try and sell ZipRecruiter? Go Recruiter? ahead. Yeah. Look at <laughs> <Thank> your <laughs> camera. <clears throat> Take notes. This is called acting. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Hey. Shut welcome. the fuck up. Go ahead. <laughs> What the fuck, dude? <laughs> okay. What the fuck? You just, I, you were like Daniel Day Lewis, you know, where you're like. So far, I do not like this commercial for Zephyr. Okay, 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 I'm sorry. The, I'm sorry, the I'm start sorry. isn't what gets you, it's the finale it's that the gets finish. you. It's the finish. Yeah. Lauren didn't even talk about Zip Recruiter. I know. <laughs> I do not support a Zip Recruiter. <laughs> Can I do Unless my crafts, guys? I need a job guys? from Zip Recruiter, and then I do. Okay. Go. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> what the fuck, Christian? Because you keep <laughs> throwing your flannel back like it's a cape. Yeah. It, 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 it will make sense later on in the commercial. All right, go, 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 go. <laughs> I can't look at him. <laughs> am I the only serious one here? In Shut this room? No, oh, you are yeah, you're not. You're so serious. I am serious. Yeah, yeah we asked okay. you to take your clown makeup off. <laughs> okay. Well, it's still on, so now what? You look great, don't worry. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, my name's Alejandro. <laughs> yeah, it's for my. Can't be that bad. <laughs> what? Oh, are you, it's not. What you're not that? even doing <laughs> English correctly. You guys are losing it's your my, sponsorship hello. with Zip Recruiter right now. My name is Alejandro. <laughs> is that how I sound? Is my can't be that bad. Zip Recruiter, <laughs> you sugar baby. I'm sugar daddy. I mean, it clearly can't be Do me. Like you know, short walk some bitch. I am bitch. looking for a sugar grandma, if anyone's interested. Aren't we all? Just trying um, to, like actually, a diabetic it's, grandma? It's to make up for my um, <laughs> leave grandma issues. Leave because the grandma trauma at home. Okay. We're yeah. leaving the grandma trauma at home. Grandma, if <laughs> you not- see this, um, please respond to my text messages. Also, mm, you're slightly nope. controversial and... Sh- should we send this directly uh, to your grandma? Please send this to my grandma. This is an SOS. Please also stop sending my sister money because it's kind of fucked up. Yeah, you can, grandma, but send she, it to me. Send it to We all else. have. We all apparently have we family members. We all have that. family problems. Oh, we my all, grandma's been in the ground for years. Are no, you no, no, even, no, no, no. I'm not necessarily uh, talking about a grandma. Oh, okay, okay, good. Okay, okay. yeah. If you have not, grandma issues, we have daddy issues. <laughs> if you're not written out of the will Whoa. by someone in your grandma, are you even worth anything like, yeah no i would say no less no. than okay yeah kill him round him up put him in camps i didn't get anything when my no, grandparents that, passed. no that the lung cancer is gonna kill her not that so don't worry wait is that truth yeah man that's don't that's make it real how about you I, do your yeah, zip recruiter please, ad uh, please, yeah zip recruiter ad how did i get in trouble for that Okay, you're still judging, right? Yes, <clears throat> of course. It's for oh, ZipRecruiter. So, so far, neither of them have really done a have commercial. Done a good job. Don't Actually, a you did. You did his commercial Earlier. for him, and I did it pretty decently, right? Yeah. Well, I'm saying also you were just mimicking what he was doing. Oh, that right? part. That's that, what you're that, saying. Yeah. So that means my commercial was best. All right. Am I doing <laughs> the commercial as Christian, or do you guys want me to do it in? Uh, hey, do as it as Santa Claus. Choice. Oh, that's not Santa Claus, but he has Hep C. Uh, uh, Santa Claus for Zip Recruiter. He has AIDS, and he's also looking for someone 18 or older. Um, but who also do, has it, so okay. they're not going to infect also, it. You know, yeah. we'll cut this whole part out. This doesn't yeah, need just, to stay in. Santa. Ahead. Oh, is it still gonna be Santa? I'm gonna have Julia give me the Just character. be Christian. Do your zip recruiter as okay, Christian. Okay, fine. I'll just be Christian. 
But you got to push your coat back like it's okay. Hi, my name is Christian Baltazar. You may have seen me on podcasts such as It Can't Be That Bad. Uh, and right here, God <laughs> damn it. I was doing so well. I was doing so well. Fine. I'll do it as Antonio Bendera. <laughs> we could do it together. Fine. Okay. You look into your camera. I'll look into mine. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Lauren? Oh, oh, you mean together know. with Lauren? Oh, yeah, okay. all three, all we're, three we're of us. All together. Okay. Yeah, ZipRecruiter. Okay, oh, three, one, two, two one. one. ZipRecruiter. Oh. God damn it, guys. Three, two, one. Julia, are you going to be any kind they of director? They better be paying us for this. ZipRecruiter is actually going to sue us for saying their name too much. <laughs> ZipRecruiter, ZipRecruiter, ZipRecruiter. I would like to get sponsored by something like that. Um, actually, KY no. KY Jelly. I mean, you got kind of... That's interesting that you did find a sugar daddy through and like he didn't even pay that well because i didn't fuck him but you also did yeah you didn't fuck him but you were also let's say did he pay decently for what you did yeah could you have kept it going doing the non-fucking i didn't want to Mm. and also no yeah he paid fine he paid okay for for being a personal assistant i mean yeah if it's just more than minimum wage PAs can go. do some bullshit. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah, you're gonna get coffee for some, like for a uh, like. If that's what staff. they call it. But also, his everyday vehicle was a Ferrari. Mm. His everyday that's just vehicle. Not, uh, that's just doesn't make sense. Question for they're you: They're not does, good cars. Um, <laughs> right? The gas mileage, like uh, they're just not good cars. They're just not well built. When it for for I wasn't impressed. I was like, Lauren, like when you're actually like when you're seeking a like a romantic partner, does what they drive, what they wear, where they live, what they do, how much of that ties into how attracted you are to them? Are you a materialistic okay, person? Okay, do you want like the truth of like what people are like? I would like... love the truth. Okay, so usually like people are like, no, that shit doesn't matter. Like that's like asking if dick size matters. It does. Mm-hmm. Like does anyone here like? No, it's, yeah, how, it's like how long you go down that's on the girl. That's what matters. Anything. That's what I've been told. It's, <laughs> but, just, um, it's just if you stay for hours, they like you more. Uh, definitely the biggest part is like how they treat me and how we get along as people. Mm-hmm. But also it's like you have to have something going for yourself. Yes. Something you going. have to somewhat like... If you don't have your shit together right now, you have to have that like on the way on the radar. You mm. have to be working towards something. And if you're not, then I'm like, yeah, I just need you to have some sort of drive. Yeah, yeah. sure. Like, I don't need you to be like sleeping it's, on my couch for months. It's sad no when you're 35 and have a band, but it's cool when you're 25 and have a band. I just realized that they're not 25. <laughs> yet. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, that's OK. You should be determined. What? It depends. It to depends. Is it a successful? I mean, I think drive is cool, right. but on top of that, the realism needs to be needs to take place, right? If you're gonna have a band, like it's so dope when people are motivated, when they have a hobby, when they have a passion, when they have a love. But on top of that, it's great to be realistic and be like, "Hey, I do need to make money to get out of my parents' spot. I do need to make money to yeah. make rent or throw down a mortgage. I do need to do something with my life and contribute to society." Unless you are part of that percentage that does hit it off from doing something that is out of the ordinary, uh, that is out of the nine to five type of job, right? Right. You know, like I'm realistic in the sense that, fuck, man, I would love for this podcast to pop off or I would love to be uh, to like be a singer and like be able to like do sing, something with sing my voice. Sing into the microphone. Sing. I'm, I'm um, nervous now. What never, the fuck just why happened? Why are you nervous I'm being so real with my you emotions? Sing. You sing all the time. Sing, I can't okay, get you to what's shut the up. song? Um, <laughs> the one by John here? Legend. Yeah. Yeah. Don't eat those clams. Ordinary people. Sing the okay. song. Don't eat those clams. Don't eat those clams. I'm not gonna sing a song that doesn't exist right now. Uh, no, well, it does exist. It does. It goes like this: Don't eat those clams. Is this a clam hate podcast? No, it's just for people who have shellfish allergies. Oh, <laughs> oh. which oh. karaoke gals at all? <laughs> Julia's face. I can't make eye contact no. with her anymore. <laughs> I cannot. Give her the sunglasses. <laughs> Give her the sunglasses. <laughs> oh. You're kicked out. Probably you're the probably. you're the co-host what? now. You look douchey. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Judge us all. What the fuck? I told him he looks like he's from The Hangover with these on. <gasps> you he do. Did. Speaking of which, you're gonna be what? hungover tomorrow. <laughs> oh, speaking yeah. of which, I'm gonna this? be hungover. And speaking of which, let's cut to when we're gonna be violently hungover in the morning. All right. <laughs> For time's sake, we will stop right here. We will okay. come back. We will try to record however 
we and are in that created. state of mind. Um, we are. I'm gonna have so Everything much goes. fun editing this. He's gonna so, have so much fun. Everyone, say uh, this see is you an later. unedited podcast. Just so you know, nothing is censored. Nothing is off limits, um, <laughs> except <laughs> the time that what? you said the n word. What? A, a Lauren, especially you just throw so because many because <laughs> you were talking. I, this look, is your look, friend, Julia. Look, this is your you're, friend. You're used to me making those jokes, but her doing it to you is really funny. <laughs> this is. She, yeah, she, Especially she's because the version you were singing us. a children's nursery rhyme. What? what? I said you were saying the N word. Yeah, especially were, because you were singing a children's nursery rhyme. We'll be back. We'll, we'll see you in a little bit. And ham, but you made it Everyone green eggs and say goodbye. And <laughs> bye. Stopping the recording. Yeah. Yeah. It's a video. <laughs> what smells like weed right now? Is it? What is it? Yeah. You should have told him we have a room. Make him a number. Yeah, I'm in a room with seven seven two. Let me just charge it to whoever. <laughs> I mean, nope, I can't. Do it, do it, do it, do it. You guys do that? Do it. People do that? Children do that? Do it. Go. Ah, do it, do it. Do it. With such confidence. Because we're carrying the walls there. Oh, no, it's terrifying. Being upside down is actually really scary. Ah, you could be the ass. Do a front flip. You know the dogs really piss on this. No, they don't bring dogs to the gym. They use this as like an indoor place to do yoga. Yo. And uh, we are live. Hello. At we have returned. Four o'clock in the morning. Um, it, it's I've, almost five. It's almost five. <laughs> and since the last <laughs> point of recording, we've learned a lot about each other. And. <laughs> <laughs> um I, um it's been a wonderful evening because Julia I got to I got to learn a lot about you. I got to learn about uh, I got to learn a lot about Lauren too right now. Um What have you learned about me? I've learned that you don't give a fuck. <laughs> you have kind of a Fair. fuck. I How much of a fuck do you a, give? A minuscule. Like a one out of ten. One out of ten. One, one out of ten. ten. That's that is kind a, of a lot. A low, a low fuck is what I would say. Is that salty? Yeah. Okay. How much of a fuck do you give Julia in comparison to Lauren? You, uh, we were saying Can that I? you and I mirror each other, and uh, I am you, you know, and remember. Lauren is more like Alejandro, right? Mm -hmm. In what ways they do you think that balance. is true? What, what, say that one time? In what ways do you think that's true? Um, we're just put together is not the right word. <laughs> no, say put together. Excuse say put together. Put together. <laughs> like you guys are more like, calm, and we're we're more, definitely like, more calm, chaos. And, and like stable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I feel like calm in the sense of that you know that's just like our personalities are like. We're we're level headed, and you're just kind of like, ooh, 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 ooh. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's the perfect way to put it. Like, yeah. I Without like, you, like where do you think Lauren would be? In Anyone? Sacramento. Mm. 
she actually bullied me into I literally and then I got my heart So the way I speak the, the way I speak about people that left. live at home with their parents I spoke to her mm-hmm. the way I described those people mm. <laughs> like like you are 22 Get you live at out. home Get the fuck out. Yeah. Even like, like what the, are you doing? Because like, no, and and she, <laughs> because you know, at that point, like I had already gone through four years of college, paying rent, like working and all that shit. And you know, you worked, but you were living at home, didn't have yeah. really any bills. She's paying to like for VIP tickets to go to Coachella, like Don't like me. and I'm like, God, you need to figure me. out real world expenses. Yeah. To be an adult and to like sustain yourself because you can't live at home forever. Because like my- some people's families will let them. I don't think yeah. your parents would have kicked you out, no. but someone needed to give you a nice out the my, door. My like bills were like VIP Coachella tickets, and I hate to say this, but like I was like, no, I have bills. Literally a payment for like a VIP Coachella ticket. Traveling, I just like packed up and traveled on like one week notice to like five different states. Seems like you uh fucking you, like you did that once while living at home for yeah, most of like, the time you lived at home you did not like, like like my college years work on? we're close right my college years see. my we college years talk. we did not talk that much at because all. she lived at home she yeah. never went anywhere you never came to santa barbara abusive, to visit me during I was college in an abusive relationship though that like i could not go anywhere without him fuck that guy that was I know, but this, like that the, was another thing. It was like it wasn't like I didn't want to. It was like, I feel like that's almost why though you like the comfort of having someone around all the time. You're still you like you still but want. But I also that. like long distance because it makes me feel like I could like control the. You have no control long distance. You have no control. No. You have no Whatever. Control. I'm still gonna go for it, no matter what but, anyone says. But like, I mean, like this is experience. You guys are your in your mid twenties. Right. This is the time to fucking make mistakes. I mean, yeah. Uh, you, I don't know. Like, it's 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 healthy that you have a friend like Julia, and it's also healthy for Julia that she has a friend like you, because you guys could always and like it's, it's inevitably, I inevitably, see. we compare ourselves to each other, and that brings balance right yeah because like, i i stabilize her and she brings out like she makes I me, mean, she makes me, about she me makes, and Alejandro? She makes me loosen up what yeah. have you noticed about this fucking duo like the same thing you like, you make you, him loosen up you kind of put him in his place a little bit mm-hmm. and you know i feel like he she's a more you know is the influence to make you have fun you're more not like you wouldn't have fun on your own i'm like fuck it like let's give it a try and you're more like well, let's look at the facts. Like, well, like let's maybe let's maybe economics. like maybe like I love economics. let's plan it. And I'm just like <laughs> fuck yeah, it, fuck like, it. Like, let's like, just like, see not like some super duper plan it, but no. let's like let's have a a general. Plan. Let's have an agenda. I don't I don't need like an hour by hour breakdown. No, but but like, it's like, can we have like a general idea of what's going on? Literally, mm-hmm. like this morning, I was asking her questions. Like, you know, <laughs> what time do you think we're gonna leave tonight? And like, and she's like. These are too many questions for no, me. No, like, I said, I, you're asking me so many questions and I have so little answers. <laughs> well, question. <laughs> if we were to swap, if we were to swap partners right now, and if I were to do this like podcast with Julia, and if you were to just kind of like to live life with Alejandro, would we both implode because the balance would be thrown off? Or would no. Julia and I, I just be extremely so. successful? I, I think we would be me. very successful I and they would be, would be wild. But like the okay. wild creates a, a balance. <laughs> I have a theory. What's the theory? My theory is if Julie and I started a podcast, we'd be extremely successful because she would book so many things and book us venues oh and like be like be make an agenda for us, and I would actually and I would meet like, those okay, deadlines. <laughs> but also, when it comes to my work, I, I am very that. fucking responsible. Like, which is like I'm unstructured in all other areas of my life, but when it comes to like shit that I actually need to be responsible for, I am. Like, I will hit my fucking deadline. You look I, like, like you're. I, I mean, you're alive. I will get shit done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a few nights that try to take me out. Like uh-huh. literally getting yeah. roofied, then the next day getting in a car crash that same weekend. Like by you an Uber driver. Life. That- you should write a book. I should, right? You could write a book. Um, a good book? 
I don't know. No, a book. No, we didn't say that. I mean, like, you no, you've been through some good. shit. Like, I, I, I will say, I will actually say, you've been through some shit, and I'm happy you're alive. And I, <laughs> I'm very upset at I the things that you've been it. through. But like, you live cathartically, and you are actually very comedic about it. <laughs> and I respect you for it, <laughs> and I respect uh, your friendship with Julia because trauma Julia... creates personality. Trauma creates so much character. If I didn't have my trauma, I would not have. You'd be my nothing. sense of humor. I would be nothing. Yeah. If the worst things possible didn't happen to me, I would be nobody. I don't know. Even like even Julia, you were just telling us like I um, mean in between the break that you have some trauma, and surprisingly enough, you are one of the most textured individuals I've ever met. <laughs> textured, 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 textured. textured. Yeah, textured, textured is a compliment for textured. sure. Textured. Well, well, what, what does textured mean? Textured <laughs> means Whatever that you. you- Mm. textured means that you have a lot to you right mm. peanut butter is plain yeah crunchy <laughs> peanut butter what is about great. smooth mm. smooth that's fuck, literally fuck smooth. Just, he was yeah, saying yeah, it was yeah, plain yeah. Oh, like, okay. that's, what, that's what's plain but i don't know like you have a lot to you i mean just like um when i what is your fingers doing he wants a handshake okay the camera is catching this all i hope you realize Live on camera. And this is the whole fucking thing. This is evidence all Seriously? getting submitted to the lawyer. Yeah. I think we need it in the podcast. We will end it the podcast. It is 5 a.m. right now, it just so you guys know. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. But. Going strong. Say it one more time. 5 a.m. <laughs> 6 a.m.? No, not 6 a.m. 4 a.m.? 5 a.m. Yeah. It's pretty fucking late. It, and I'm glad or I got early, to, Is it early or is it late? It depends on how you look at it. This is the only way I stay up late. It's either like viciously late or like. But you no. don't seem tired. Like I said, no, because I like blink. get past tired and then I'm good. Then mm-hmm. you're just delusional. But that's like my window of tired is between like 11:30 and 12:30. So that's why, like, I go to like if once if I feel tired, past, I go to sleep. Can I do something with you right now? What? A staring contest. First person to blink loses. <laughs> I think you might win because I've only seen you blink three times tonight. When I think about it, though, I blink more. Yeah. <laughs> like it's harder. Go, okay. go, go. Three, right. two, one, go. Touch his belly button. <laughs> what? Touch his belly button. <laughs> what? You touch his belly button. See, it's harder when your eyes aren't moving around, though. Like, I, my vision is blurry. Oh, you, just you fucking lie. I literally, no, because it's when I don't blink that much, but my eyes are, like, tracking around. So I feel like it's, like, I can't, I can't keep my eyes, I can't keep my eyes open that long. No, I get that. I completely get that. But I'm a- analytical. That's you are analytical. Sure. I can feel like that you're, um, ever since I met you, I felt like you were analyzing every single situation and every single conversation. She was assessing everything for danger. No, that's good. Well, it's because well, you're dangerous. That's like, yeah. Me. If you think- that's me. Yeah. That's me with this guy. We yeah. go out. I'm assessing danger. Yeah. I'm assessing like. that. I think <sighs> I think that, that, that there's like, a, you know. All of the bad things that have happened to her while she's out, I haven't been there. I feel like. Can you be with her at all times? You guys should just mm. be Siamese twins. <laughs> I think I would kill murder her. her. Yeah. You would murder her. I wouldn't murder myself. Would. I wouldn't kill myself. She should. She, you'd myself. kill me. I wouldn't kill myself, you'd but I probably kill would kill her. She would. You guys are like. The longest we've spent such. consecutively was like 11 days. Oh, how was that? When was this? In Hawaii. You stayed forever. Oh. I don't even remember. <laughs> I'm like I blocked out. I just flew across the ocean. Like well, it was, it was hard because like you weren't working and I was still working, so it was like trying to work and entertain and like go out and do things. That was another were you thing. Guys the same as you I were literally in high didn't. School? I could spend any money I wanted because I was making some money and I just lived with my oh, parents, no bills, sucks. nothing. So I could just fucking blow tons she, of money, like a fucking shark diving excursions. Like yeah, she wanted me to do like, that with her, and it's like three hundred dollars. Whatever the fuck, like, and I'm like, yeah, I felt no. like I had bills. Well, it's because like, you had the Hannah Montana money, right? <laughs> Yeah. Not that, but it was like I had no sense of like actual responsibility, and as much as no, I hate to admit it, like you're right, like you only actually experience that once you move out. Like yeah. I had no sense of what anything costed, dude. Well, also and also just general life experiences, like yeah, figuring you, out like how to live on your own without the support of your parents, yeah. not being close to your parents, like. And it is I hard, mean that, but it's that really wasn't it. necessarily hard for me but i know that it's like hard for some people like they really do yeah. like experience like homesickness not necessarily for like the city but like their family and stuff 
So, yeah, but I did bully her into moving out. That's good. She, I mean, held, you're just she held me at gunpoint. Someone help. Yeah. SOS. It was like a mix of me bullying her and also it was time to like man. I got so heartbroken that I was just like I need to just change my life entirely. I think this is he's song. really not gonna stop snoring, so we're just gonna rock. If with you're it. hearing snoring in the stop background, snoring. is Alejandro? We, we went out and got drunk and this is the product so enjoy yeah. the background can noise. i say this is from- a dare to keep kids off drugs ad um adults on drugs that's a different story kids what? we cannot condone to that. add on what you were yeah. to what you were saying and from a i think there's a, a there's a beauty from new people meeting right because there's just it's a kind of like there's no bias right mm-hmm. so me meeting you there's zero bias right now. Shut the mm-hmm. fuck up, goddamn. <laughs> Alejandro. He's he's really out. Stop just going, roll stop over. Just roll over. Thank you. We need to we need to finish this podcast. This okay. is great okay. content. Back to it. Back to it. There's me meeting you mm-hmm. for the first time. No bias. I could easily tell that you had a guard up of some sort, right? Mm-hmm. And that automatically put a guard up on myself, a filter, of, if, if you may. Um, and I'm sure that you could tell the difference between me now and me maybe eight hours ago when we first met. Yeah. <laughs> but it's because like I'm trying to play. It's a dance, Do you feel right? like yeah. I'm the same? What? Do you feel like I'm the same? In like when sense? you fir- Well, when you first met me versus now, like I feel like I... You're very know. loose. No, like you're, you're loose. You you're the same, much... but looser. You're just right, you. like even more. But you, you present very you, much of what you, you are. Meeting you this time is you are the sequel to <laughs> to what I met. You are the the sequel with <laughs> okay. a different director is what I met. Right? You're just like you're Attack of the Clones. What I met and was so fucking... still the same person. It's just like a different font. But um, it's just like more of it. It's just more of it. Exactly. Okay. You're Terminator Two, as and I I met Terminator one right okay. uh julia when i met you you seem you're 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 very you're very on guard and then it wasn't until like after we stopped recording and then uh we started running in the streets of downtown la that was just like oh this girl is kind of like cool right <laughs> like she just does, like, she doesn't okay. want to stab me actually is uh is what i got and i, I understand now through um through you trying to protect your friend through you uh, with a jaded background, why you are the way that you are. And there's actually a, some sort of, and I know you hate compliments, but there's a, <sighs> there's a fuck, there's a beauty to it. There's a beauty to it, right? There's this fucking like yin yang to yourself of like, uh, of, uh, you have a nuance to yourself. You're very fucking, you're fucking, you're fucking weird. <laughs> fucking weird. You're fucking weird. You, weird. Got, you have a humor to you, but you're also just like I'm trying to protect myself and my friends. But I'm I'm also fucking I have fun too. You're fucking weird, is what I'm thinking. You didn't even want to be on this podcast. I was like, no, be on it, be on it. Well, I mean, also with the camera setup, what, I'm gonna hide over there. <laughs> There's cameras in like you can hide in the everywhere, bathroom everywhere. the whole time. Yeah. But, yeah. No, she yeah. asked me, and I was like. Eh. Like, you seem like an uh, type no, of guy. I don't know. I'm like not like hard no, but I wasn't like yes, please. You're not like a super public type of individual, but like you're not not down. Yeah. Yeah. But you still. Well, like, that's where I'm just like I'm, about I'm, I'm just selective. It's like mm. I mm. only choose you know to give out some. <laughs> It depends on the person, how much I know you. And, like, that's why, like, people, when they first meet me, like, the way that I've been described from people that, like, I've gotten to know better, they're just, like, you're very, like, hard to read and, like, myst- <laughs> like almost, like, mysterious. But it's just because, like, I'm – but they're, like, I knew you weren't necessarily introverted. Because I wouldn't say that I'm – I mean, I said earlier, like, I'm – I feel like I'm just, like – an introverted extrovert compared in, in to the like fact that like me I, or something i don't yeah. outwardly display that right do away. we outwardly mm-hmm. display who we are like who i was when i first met you is that who i am right now i feel like yeah i think so yeah oh, man i want to be mysterious 
I feel like Fuck, Kansas, dude. I, I want to like move upstairs so bad. I mean, I feel like you've definitely like loosened a little. Loosened up because loosened like up a bit. I mean, especially I like, like having I've conversations like, outside of like this, like the recording and like yeah. you know. I mean, like the, and the course. whole thing is yeah. that I was fully aware that like, hey, you're here for your friend and you want to protect your friend. And, like, I gotta like feel. I gotta make you comfortable if we're gonna <laughs> fucking do this thing, right? Not just two, we're gonna two do random dudes thing. in a hotel room. Two random dudes <laughs> at a hotel room is honestly with, with the descriptor she gave me of. Dude, we're just gonna to, get drunk and Lord, make a recording. You have to give her a better preface. You gotta be like these. These are my <laughs> friends. Just say friends. Friends that I, are I don't, are, I don't are, even know are, them. I never met them before. And where should we go? It's a random but, hotel. I don't know them. And then you met them us. And like, we're just like, dude. Yeah, just two, <laughs> two, two dudes, dudes in a hotel. Two dudes, in a hot tub. Two five dudes. feet apart because yeah. you are gay. Yeah, we've now sang karaoke Happy together. Pride. We yes. now have, I, I bought you a, a non-alcoholic beverage. So, so A non-alcoholic bevy. Yeah. We love a good bev. We love a good bev. We love a good bev. I'm a Bev supporter. All right, let's let's wrap this thing up because I honestly, I actually see the sun is actually coming. Unless you guys want to keep it going, I'm gonna give a fuck. I'm the one that ends this. Not long. You guys have mics in front of your face. You guys don't usually have mics in front of your face. What are things you want to talk about before we end this? Things you want to put out there. Oh no, you're shy. Oh no, I'm trying to think. Um, because now I'm actually feeling the fucking. So she's drifting into that. You're drifting yeah, into I'm that. drifting she into She's drifting that. into his. Um, you could tell because I shut the fuck up for once. This is weird. This What's is funny weird is you're me. gonna you're, the like the beginning of this to now. She's like very, and then now it's just like <laughs> now you're, you're, first you're half wilting. of the episode. She's you wilting. were on a she fucking roll. It's the alcohol. Don't do alcohol, kids. Don't do don't alcohol. do alcohol. Don't do. And don't, now, like I don't know. I feel like the second half kids. of this podcast was like me and me and Julia again. You and Julia you. vibing. Yeah. Getting to know each Julia other. Julia and I can and start a podcast. Like, you want to start a podcast? Um, we'd have. I feel like deep talks. A more prof- like not, professional. Not professional. <laughs> Loved it. <laughs> say it. Say it. Excuse me. Like yeah, a more like serious. All right, let's do it. Let's the, for the next five minutes. Let's pretend you and I have a podcast for the next five minutes. I just I like, what do you think that we would discuss? Um, I think we'd discuss our feelings and what we did in the day. <laughs> it's let's, like let's therapy, like it. but like much worse. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend like we haven't just started a podcast. Okay. Yo, welcome to another episode of Christian and Julia do stuff. Uh, my <laughs> name is Christian. My I'm Julia. And we have a special guest today. Her name is Lauren McCoy. Lauren Michael um, McCoy. Get it right. There we go. Did not know My we had to say the Michael. middle name. Yeah. Um, usually on this podcast, Julia, what are you talking about on this podcast? Um, you know. <laughs> what are we talking about on this podcast? We talk about just, you know, day-to-day life and yeah, our emotions and our emotions. Life uh, what are challenges. your dopamine levels are at right now? Zero. Lauren's at a zero. Zero. Um no, I'm, I'm at six. Like seven. Out of ten. Seven. Yeah, like a seven or eight. Seven or eight. Seven or eight. Minus points for being sleepy. Sleepy. Slightly sleepy. Sleepy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Knowing I have work tomorrow. Oh fuck. That's okay. That's okay. All right. <laughs> I'm at a Where are you? Uh, my dopamine levels mm-hmm. on, on a scale of 10. Yes. I'm at a 9 because I love just hanging with friends and whatnot. My 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 good old friendos. Uh yeah, this is that podcast where we talk <laughs> about our emotions. And, yeah, I think maybe we'd have to work on it. Probably. That's what it Probably. Is. Okay, nonetheless, yeah. let's okay, let's fucking end Lauren? the podcast for real because we got Lauren. two individuals got asleep. Two and this is what you requested, Lauren. <laughs> you said, "Hey, Let's record a podcast. Get drunk. Pause in the middle. Drink. It's 5 a.m. It is It is 5 a.m. She is this. the one yelling that it's 5 a.m. It's 5 a.m. And she's the one that's up till 4 a.m. almost every single night. Every single day. Talking on that phone. Okay. okay. Oh, you don't want to talk to us, but you want to talk on the phone. All side. right. <laughs> I've been talking we have to a us. Thing, we have a thing that we do that we end this podcast. Improv. Two different things. Fuck improv you. scene. Fuck. And then what? another thing. Fuck. Are you familiar with, the, uh, with improv, Julia? I know generally what it is. You know generally what it is. Yeah. So like we make things off the top of our dome. Yes, yeah, not a skill. Lauren, are you gonna be part of this or are you gonna keep sleeping right there? I have a joke. Knock you knock. can't just say that's <laughs> not improv. Knock, if you uh, have a prep uh, joke, knock, it's knock. not improv. Knock knock. Go ahead. No, you have to ask. Who's there? I don't know, I'm asking you. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Is that the joke? Yes. Well, there is one dumb joke that I <laughs> no, thought no, was so the, funny. The joke right. was, so a snake walks into a bar. And then what? The bartender says, holy fuck, a walking snake. <laughs> That's actually really good. That's really good. That's fucking good. That's actually really good. So, there was oh, another one. Fuck the schizophrenic. There was one that was the a, schizophrenic. No, one. the br- it was it a brick? No. Oh, what's bread? <laughs> what's bread? What's bread? Bread is a. Uh... What's red and <laughs> what? Is, what is red and bad for your teeth? What's bread and red. bad for your teeth? What is red, red and bad, bad for, for your teeth? teeth? I don't know, like biting into someone's neck. I don't <laughs> a, know. Brick. a brick. A brick. Yeah, that sounds good. It's like so. What's dumb. green and has wheels? Grass, uh, um, grass. Green, I lied about the green wheels. waste recycling bin. I don't know. I was just saying <laughs> oh. recycling bin. Fuck green it. Waste. All right, let's do the same prophecy, ladies and gentlemen. It can't be that bad. That's why I said it. Before. It, can be, it, it can, can be, be that bad. It might be. <laughs> it is that bad. Hi there, ladies. I I, I uh, understand that you guys are here to audition for the new Mission Impossible. So we have uh, Julia Dennis over here and Lauren McCoy auditioning for. Um, uh, spies one and two. So please, you guys are doing a uh, a joint audition. That's what I'm under the impression of. Here's my best. Uh, here's my best identity. All right, as wait, a wait. Spy. Give me your resume and uh, give me your resume and headshot. Sunglasses and a hood that I could put on. That's Does fine. that work? You're talking over me. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Please read the sides that I've given you. Read the script. Read the sides that I've given you. Yes. Uh, okay, Alejandro. Can you please give me a hat? Wait, this is the wrong script. Um, <laughs> what? I'm this sorry. is the wrong one. This is the text you guys sent to each other. Can you give sorry, me the actual sorry, script, sorry. please? I've you never you picked even the wrong seen... packet. You picked the wrong packet. Okay, right okay. There. Give me the actual one. It's right there. Okay, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> I've never even seen the Mission Impossible movie. I haven't either. This right, honestly, <laughs> ladies, what are we doing the here? The sun is coming. Up. Guys, this is an we improv scene. Bed. Get through it. The, here's the improv. The sun is coming up, and we're repelling down. We are <laughs> repelling down into the ground. Okay. What? Okay, it just so, happened. Uh, Am I just gonna end here, the improv here's scene? Here's the next joke. So and um, scene. Okay, <laughs> this is not a stand-up show. <laughs> It is Lord. now. It is not. You are changing the show. It's not a stand up. It's a sit down. And here we fucking are. All right, sitting whatever, down guys. Couch. Just say your plugs. Any, where can people follow anyways, you? Where can they? Where can they? Fucking Lauren McCoy. Add me on FarmersOnly.com. Um, add me on TikTok <laughs> at Lauren McCoy one. Add me on Instagram at Lauren McCoy with two Y's. Add me on Venmo at Lauren McCoy three. Add me on Gmail at contact dot McCoy at gmail dot com. Add me on Facebook. Wait, no, don't do that one. Um, <laughs> add me on Twitter at Lauren McCoy with two R's and Lauren, two Y's in McCoy. Add me on. That was all. It just keeps going. <laughs> I just go. You, like, you like fast forward. It's still like me talking. My mm. one and only is Instagram at Julia Dennis with two A's. Do you want people to follow you? That's fine. You're fine with it. What kind of That's content fine. do you post? Are you a content uh, creator? Graphic. No, I'm not a content creator. Do you have at least one beach pic with your like legs in it and just like take me back? <sighs> you literally follow me. You can see it, but. I have all my. It's like outdoorsy. It's all stuff I've taken. Exposed. Like, the sun is coming not, up. It's not all stuff you've taken. Fuck it. All right. But, okay. Everyone. Okay. It's a public profile. So. In that case, one last and thing. Scene. Look into the barrel of the camera. Both of you guys come up with something, a word, a phrase to leave the baddies with our listeners. Time flies when you're having fun. And uh, time's fun when you're eating flies, as a frog would say. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, that, that, I am out. All right. <laughs> Good Julia, night. anything? That's it? Uh, I'm going to go with that with her. All right. <laughs> bye. Alejandro. Time's fun when you're having fun. It can't be that bad. Oh, 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 it can't be that bad. Oh,
Bye.